G'day, if you got one of these Garmin 557XS and you're struggling to do that bloody building uh, map update thing, um, this video is for you. There's no information on the internet, not even Garmin wants to support the bloody thing anymore. So I'll show you how to get the 2015.5 version, which is supposedly a G3 map, but um, I'll show you what happens. So anyway, uh, Let's get started. So, what everybody had to do was take your memory chip, put it in, turn the machine on. Uh, um, as soon as it's turned on um, and it's loaded and everything, loaded the maps, then you have to exit the chip again, plug it into the. Um, you had to download Garmin Express. Um, and as soon as you insert the memory stick, Garmin Express recognizes it, tells you you got a new device, then you have to go and add the device, and you have to go and register the device. You have you need the serial number from the from the uh, GPS map 557X, then you can register it and its map. And then it will tell you there's a map that's available. It's a free map. It's the like I said, it's the uh, 2015. 5 g3 map that would be available and you click on that um i can't do it anymore because i've already oh maybe uh let's see i'll tell me charts and updates there it is I'll tell you that that map's available and then you download that then you take a clean memory card they say preferably a four to eight gigabyte uh, memory stick but i've used a um a 16 gigabyte uh, it worked well for me. That's the version 2015.5 and says it's a G3. Now the problem comes in is when this thing downloads eventually down to your memory stack, it becomes an I uh, what's it called? An IMG file, image file. Now, when you go and you want to try and put this bloody thing in, I'll show you what I mean. So. You click your I think my device is already in on it's just in sleep mode yep so when you're in home and you click it in it tells you you've got a memory card one and then it says manage um, user data I did that and then I go um, save to card or replace from card or you can even copy the inbuilt map down to this and then you can um anyway this is a problem it says adm file type supported and gpx no img oh my gosh what now so what i've done is is if you go back into this and you go back again okay and then you go to settings in the settings it'll, you go to uh, system system information software information and you'll get that it'll tell you there's only the built-in map you only got the building map that's available. Now, I had a problem. When you download this image file, and you put it on your laptop, you download the image file from your laptop to your disk. Uh, oops, wrong one. Actually, I think that was the wrong one. To be honest here we go i think i just put a blank disk in. sorry about that i'll just quickly go there go file explorer i'll just double check i had the right disk there garmin there's my file you get this <coughs> so basically when you go back when you select the memory stick when you select the memory stick there it's going to give you this folder with those four files. 
when you've got that folder with those four files, you've got that monster file there, that's that IMG file. You go over here, it says IMG file, and it's like one gig and 19,056 kilobytes. That file there, that's your map. That's your new supplementary map. So what you're going to do is, is you're going to leave it as it is. And you're going to, obviously, you have to go and close the window. Close the window first. And then you're going to have to unboot the disk, make it safe to remove it. You don't want to corrupt your files yet because it takes forever to download the shit. You take it out. I sat here last night until bloody the cows came home and I struggled to get more one map version on my GPS. You don't have to turn your GPS off when you insert these memory cards. Now I've plugged it in. Now you go back to system information. It gives me this now, you see? Memory card, supplementary map. G2, 2015 version 17. That's what you want to see. You go back. System information. And you go to software information. And voila, you got two maps. You got two maps there. It's not a G3 that downloads, it's a G2 file. And that G2 file, you cannot replace the built-in map with this file. You have to um, leave the memory stick in there. I don't know how or why or what, whatever, but this is a 557XS. This is how I managed to get this. Now, to prove to you that you can read that map, nowhere I found where I can select the two different maps. So all I've done is, is you go to uh, chart, go to navigation chart. Um, all the videos I've seen was for the 700. Nothing about the poor 557 access. The thing's not supported anymore. You push the menu button and you cannot select the damn chart. You cannot select the chart. Doesn't matter what you do. So just to show you the chart's working, I'll go to one of my spots. Well, not one of my spots, it's just a spot that I've noticed that it made a difference. Uh, we go there. There we go. Well, just, ah, just anywhere here. Yep, just anywhere here. This is where I can see there's a difference in this. Okay, so as you can see there, if I eject the card, the overlay changes. If I insert the card, wait a couple of seconds, it's loading the card. Just press back. Voila. See? The overlay is different. Which means you've got a different mapping in there. Now it's reading the G2 map. If you exit that map, it will go back to the um, blue, blue overlays and whatever. They recommend you using a 32 um, gigabyte memory card. From now on, now that you've got the new version 6.6 uh, software update installed, it's supposed to make a monster difference in the unit um, I don't know I don't use auto traveling and um, manual steering there's no special steering on my system but uh, this is it so if you think that the map doesn't work on your unit it does work it just doesn't give you the option to to download it and put it on your unit because it's not a GPS a GPX or a UDM file format but the unit does recognize it as I IMG file and it does store it into the unit and you can read it you can't read it the bloody unit can read it so 
I'll go back to settings again, just to show you again. Uh, oops, system, yes. System information. Uh, software information. There you go. You got two maps installed. Supplementary map is the one that you've just inserted on the card. Hope that helped you guys. Sorry about um, going about this, but this is the only way I know I can explain this. There's no support on these smaller poor units, so um, there you go. Well, I can't say there's no support. There's some support, but the rest of it, it's a uh, do-it-yourself. Um, like I said, I, I sat here until bloody 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning, in the cold, under my bloody, uh, under the covering of the boat. Uh, sit here, COVID-19, got nothing else to do. I, I've struggled with this map before and I've wasted many hours trying to figure this damn thing out and here we go happy COVID no I shouldn't say that just um, um, be safe stay home and wait for the lockdown to finish there's a reason why I've got a lockdown bye